That's really exciting because for those of you who live in St Ives, you'll know that for many years now we've been looking at what the options are for extending the galleries and we finally come up with a proposal, a solution, a set of plans which has got planning permission and also seems to be meeting a lot of um, general support, community support. So the plans themselves will do a number of things. The first thing they'll do is to increase the gallery space by 100%. So we'll have double the amount of galleries that we have now. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to do three things. The first, which I think is really important, both to our visitors, but also to people in St Ives, is we're going to show the St Ives Modernists displays of those year round. So anybody coming to Tate St Ives at any time in the year will be able to see the work of those key St Ives Modernists. The second thing we'll do is to show more of the Tate collection. So the Tate's got this amazing collection in London of, I don't know, something like 80,000 works. We'll be able to bring more of those works down to Cornwall and show them in the gallery. And the third thing we'll do is show our current shows of international, modern and contemporary art, the seasonal changing exhibitions alongside in an extension to the galleries. So that's the galleries themselves. And then alongside that, we're creating a new learning and events suite in the middle of the building. Um, at the moment, we run these family workshops called Super Sunday. And in those we have, I think last time we had something like 400 people local families mainly coming and working with artists and responding to the exhibition. But the only space we've got for those is a courtyard space that's got this temporary canopy over. In the winter it leaks, in the summer it's too hot in there. So we're creating a proper learning suite, a room down there and a second room up on the roof with glass windows overlooking the terrace and out to sea. So we'll be able to host all of our learning and education programmes in those, in those spaces. We are looking at increasing opportunities, so there's many more volunteer opportunities, particularly working with the St Ives Modernists. So we're going to have a resource room in the building, which will be staffed by volunteers who will be able to talk about the St Ives Modernists and share the resources, and very importantly, direct people from Tate St Ives to the other centres of the town, so Porthmere Studios, the Leach Pottery, the Barbara Hepworth Museum, the St Ives Archive. We're really keen that the community of St Ives feel that the gallery and this heritage is theirs and that they work with us to help us then bring that benefit to the wider community. So it's not just about people coming in on a coach, arriving at the Tate, having their visit and then leaving on a coach. We want people to arrive at the Tate and then discover what else is in the town, the rest of the town, which hopefully will bring benefit both to those cultural partners but also to the businesses in the town. Jamie Faubert, who was appointed back in 2005 and then was reappointed a couple of years ago, is working on the extension, but the extension largely will be underground. So the new meadow flats that have been built next door, behind those is a big building site below the Barnoon car park. And what we're looking to do is to dig down into that area so that we can create the gallery at the level of the existing galleries, and then on the top of it, place a roof garden, a terraced garden, which will have Cornish hedging in it and wild plants, hopefully bought from seeds over from Man's Head, that will be, so there'll be wild planting, and that will be a public, publicly accessible area. The building that will pop up above ground is the collection care suite and the loading bay, because obviously you need to reverse your vehicles into it. But that's going to be treated, it won't be a public building, but it will be beautifully treated with ceramic tiles around the edge, and the architect's exploring using the kind of, as he sees the colours of St Ives, these kind of watery blues and greens on these ceramic tiles. So it'd be rather a beautiful thing with the roof garden for the community on the edge of the Barnoon cemeteries, next to the Barnoon cemetery. So we're not touching the car park in that we're not building on the car park. And in fact, the scheme will offer three extra parking spaces back to the town because part of the, the land that we're building on, the plant room that will be below ground, the roof of it is going to be used for parking. Um, the result of that will be that the car park in the long term will be reorganised so that there's permanent access to the new loading bay without the cars having to be removed. But there will be more parking spaces in that residence permit area than there are currently. So there won't be any negative impacts on the parking. In terms of the timeline, we're working really hard on our funding package and we hope to be able to confirm that we can go ahead with the project in July. If that's the case, then we would aim to start digging out the site, doing enabling works in September, and the main construction would start in February, February 2014, and complete at the end of 2015. So we'd be aiming to have all of these facilities ready by the beginning of 2016.